Good morning and welcome to Face the Nation. Margaret is off. I'm John Dickerson. We find ourselves once again sorting and explaining the challenges to the American system following the actions of former President Donald Trump, for which there is no previous example in American history. Last week's news. For the first time in history, a former U.S. president has been charged with multiple, 37 in this case, federal charges stemming from the investigation into his removal of classified material from the White House and his attempts to hide it from authorities. This is the second time Mr. Trump has been indicted this year. These federal criminal charges are part of a two-pronged investigation being conducted by special prosecutor Jack Smith who is also looking into Mr. Trump's role in the events leading up to the January 6th attack on the Capitol. Smith was named to oversee the investigation following the FBI's seizure of classified documents from Mar-a-Lago in August of 2022. The 49-page indictment outlining the evidence against Mr. Trump is exhaustive in its detail. Prosecutors accuse Mr. Trump of conspiracy to obstruct justice, making false statements, and allege his willful retention of hundreds of classified documents, including some that contain top-secret military plans and information about U.S. nuclear capability and vulnerability. The indictment leaves little to the imagination. It uses photographs of boxes of materials, including the classified documents, stored carelessly in open locations at Mar-a-Lago, including a public ballroom, a bathroom, and spilled over a storage room floor. It cites detailed notes by Trump's attorney, audio tapes of the former president showing classified materials in two instances to people without security clearance, noting that, quote, as president, I could have declassified, but now I can't, undermining the former president's public defense that anything he took was automatically declassified. Our laws that protect national defense information are critical the safety and security of the United States, and they must be enforced. We have one set of laws in this country, and they apply to everyone. Flashback to the 2016 campaign, when Mr. Trump highlighted the investigation into the misuse of Hillary Clinton's non-secure email server to forward classified emails. Back then, he repeatedly pledged to enforce all laws protecting classified information. We can't have someone in the Oval Office who doesn't understand the meaning of the word confidential or classified. Most of Mr. Trump's 2024 rivals and supporters in Congress did not address the substance of the indictment, but complained that it existed at all declaring it an example of government abuse. You can't have one faction of society weaponizing the power of the state against factions that it doesn't like, and that's what we've seen. A few contenders say the actions of Mr. Trump show he should not be president. Former Vice President Mike Pence, who announced his campaign this week, says, wait and see. We also need to hear the former president's defense. Then each of us can make our own judgment on whether this is the latest example of uh, a Justice Department working in injustice or otherwise. For Mr. Trump's MAGA faction, there is no otherwise. If you want to get to President Trump, you're going to have to go through me, and you're going to have to go through 75 million Americans just like me. And I'm going to tell you, yep, most of us are card-carrying members of the NRA. That's not a threat. That's a public service announcement. On the campaign trail Saturday, former President Trump tried to turn his personal woes into a campaign message. I put everything on the line. I will never yield. I will never be deterred. I will... Never stop fighting for you. Never. 